Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I have a mascara review on the new, super new, I don't even know when it's going to come out kind of new, um, Max Factor Lash Crown Mascara. Please don't mind the Rimmel t-shirt, this is just my t-shirt for work. So yeah, don't get it confused. Um, so I just got this mascara. I recently went to a beauty and skincare conference for my job since I work for Superdrug. So they sent a whole load of us to a little convention basically. And we got to see loads and loads and loads of new makeup, loads of like exclusives basically. And we got to play around with them. We even, oh, I mean, this is new. This got put in my free gift bag. So I'm definitely 100% gonna use this. As you can see today, I'm gonna review it. Um, I have no idea how much it was unless they stated it to me, but I forgot. But I do have this little booklet thing here that I got. So it says New Lash Crown Mascara, Crown of the Majestic Eye Look. Now, um, it says available at Superdrug and basically the brush on here is very odd and you'll understand why it's called Lash Crown. So let me just take it out of the bottle. As you can see, basically that little tip at the end there, the pointy one, that is what you would call the crown. Um, so you've got the normal brush side, it's a rubber brush where you would brush your lashes. And then the other side, you use that for the inner corner and the outer corner of your eyelashes just to get them, you know, covered in mascara. So that's that. This is available in black and black brown. What else? At the front, it says full long defined lashes. So we're going to test that out today. My ultimate fave, I don't know if you guys have watched my videos before, but my ultimate fave is the Maybelline Push Up Angels. Falsy Mascara, this is my favorite because of the brush itself. This is the brush of the Push Up Angels. And um, it's so small and easy to capture like all the little tiny hairs that I have on my eyelash, like my eyelash hairs are really small. So um, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. I'm gonna do two layers like I normally do. So I'm gonna do one proper layer. And then the second layer, I'm just gonna do it as much you know, as I can before it gets too much. Because usually I tend to go overboard when it comes with reviews. So I'm just gonna do it as much as I feel like I'm comfortable walking out the house with, because I don't want it to look too clumpy. So let's hope it doesn't clump. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. Let me just recurl my eyelashes because my eyelashes cannot hold a curl, honestly. It really depends on the mascara because the mascara is the one that really, really, really holds the curls. And not many mascaras hold my curl, so I'm lucky to find a mascara that actually does hold my curl. I've just zoomed you in there. I'm going to start off with the little ribbed end here. Not the crown, just the part underneath it. And I'm going to try and apply some mascara. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side and I'm going to get this inner corner. This is a good part to have just to kind of separate your lashes as well. So that got my inner corner lashes really nicely without clumping them up. And now let me get the outer corner. funny because the outer parts of my eyelashes don't like to work with me well so I kind of like brush them out just to get as much mascara on them as I can. Okay so far this is the first layer. Now I'm just going to go on to the other eye. Okay, so here's the other eye. I think I've got it done a little bit messily on this eye though. So now I'm gonna do a second layer. I'm just gonna go as much as I usually would um, so that you know I can actually walk out the house with it. So far, it's all right. I'm finding it a tiny bit fiddly because it kind of sticks out quite a lot. So, so like when I do the crown part, there's this little blank spot right there. Do you see where the purple is? There's that little blank spot. And there's a little bit of mascara left over there. So as I'm trying to 
use the crown part. A lot of the mascara does go on my lashes and I'm, I'm scared it's going to clump them up because I feel like too much mascara might get on there. But we'll keep going and just see how it goes. almost getting clumpy so I'm gonna stop right now so this is two layers on both of my eyes okay so now I'm gonna do my lower lashes I don't know whether to use the crown side or just the normal side but um, well I'll try both of them out and see brush does contain a lot of product on it though already so all goes well with these lower lashes Let me just try the crown side. With the crown side for the lower lashes, you've just got to be very um, patient and delicate with it. Because it's a very small, tiny little crown brush. So you're not going to get, you know, a large area of lashes. So I think I kind of prefer the other side because you get more mascara on the lashes. When it comes to big brushes, I'm terrible on my lower lash line, or well, my lower lashes. So this is everything. It's done my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so overall, so far, I'm not very fond of it for my lower lashes at all. Not fond of it. Um, I do find it to be a little bit fiddly because of, um, you know, how it's like double-sided. You've got two different kind of ends. You've got... Oh, you see, there's a lot of mascara on that. I just pulled it out. But um, you, you've got two ends and you've got that end... It's a little bit fiddly, though, you know, this brush might be perfect for other people, just not for me. Like, I really do prefer one brush that really captures every little hair from inner corner to outer corner. You know, I love just like one good solid brush. Um, but we'll test it out. I'll test it out throughout the day. I'm going to go to work. I'll see how long it lasts. I, I might ask some people what they think of my lashes. Um, I'll see if it crumbles, if it smudges, whatever it is. It doesn't claim to be waterproof or anything. It literally just says, full, long, defined lashes. My lashes do look long. They do look defined. They're not clumpy. Full, long, defined lashes, yeah. So, I mean, full, not for me because I, I mean, I don't put that much mascara on to make it look that full and thick. But this is how I prefer my eyelashes to be kind of light there you can actually see my lashes um so i'm just gonna test it out and see how i like it if i do like it up to now it's not one of those mascaras that i'm gonna reach over and use because i love it so much but i'll see how it you know turns out throughout the day basically so yeah i'll see you in a little bit okay so i've got home um i'm holding the camera because when i go over here it just doesn't look as good so i've just got my box light on just so you can properly see so it's been around six and a half hours and this is what my lashes look like now if you can see let me zoom in for you and basically it looks all right to be honest in my opinion it hasn't smudged it actually looks curled and defined and long i did ask two of my colleagues today how my lashes look and they actually said they look really good so i think i might just keep using it um for a couple of days and see how i really feel about it because right now i find it to be a little bit fiddly but it gives results so that's what you usually want anyway if it gives results then it's good but um i'll keep using it up to now i'm actually kind of liking it i'm not sure how much it is but because it's max factor i'm expecting expensive like maybe 
9.99, 10.99, 11.99, maybe up to those standards. I'm not exactly sure, but this is what it looks like, and I kind of like it, to be honest. So, so yeah, that's my review on it so far. I might put in the description how I'm actually feeling about it after a couple days. I'll see how I'm feeling about it then, but right now, it's kind of good. If people actually compliment my lashes, then it's all right to me. So yeah, um, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.